Hey there, welcome to today's video. If we haven't met before, I'm Adeline. Welcome to my channel. I'm a homeschool mom of four and I'm always looking to save a buck. So going to thrift stores, going to the dollar store are always on my radar for homeschooling. I haven't gone to the dollar store yet at the beginning of this school year. So today was the day. Um, and I thought I would take you along with me, kind of show you some of the homeschool essentials from the dollar store to help you save money and some of the things that I rebuy because I don't buy everything from the dollar store. Obviously there are certain items that I refuse to buy from the dollar store and I will share that with you too. So stay tuned. Let's get shopping. What a great example of something great and something not great to get from the dollar store. The dry erase boards are only a dollar and the notebooks I would not get because you can get them for 25 cents at, at Walmart. I love these notebooks though because these are special little journaling notebooks and you can get sketch pads too with lots of special prints on the front. These are something I would buy from the dollar store. And the pencils and pens I stock up on. Pencils and mechanical pencils. Last year they um, had eight packs. This year they only have five packs, but that's all right. Still a really good deal. Some pens and the big chunky erasers. They always have some neat organizing things, but I actually like looking more over in the Tupperware containers for organizing items. And then this is the school supplies. They have flashcards, stickers. These books are awesome. Um, lots of different maps. I've bought those before and Mod Podge them to the wall. Um, and if you want to have more of a schoolroom look, they have all the special things you can hang on the wall to do. Scissors and stickers are amazing, but things I skip past. Folders, um, glue crayons and markers but the book section is wonderful they always have new books you see the stickers and dot to dot now these books were a whole new section that they had and my kids loved them then the craft supplies this is totally new to our dollar store within the last year they have acrylic paints they have washable tempura paints and they have canvases which my kids absolutely love. All the things you need. Paintbrushes. However, I was a little disappointed they didn't have the watercolors, which was actually what we needed was just the cheap little watercolor tray. But they had these awesome Bob Ross painting trays that my kids found. Two fun food items that I couldn't help but show you were these pork chops and the family-sized Cheerios with strawberries. And the part of the store that brings me my inner peace, the Tupperware container aisle where you'll find all the wonderful containers and jars to organize your homeschool room, bring a pop of color in, and just help you be able to see things more clearly. Now, I grab these big red bins here, and those are our to-be-graded bins. They fit binders and all kinds of books. These little metal wire ones are amazing for putting paperwork in. These would be great for storing all your little accessories, push pins, pom poms, and here we have it all together. I've got my fun sticker books and the dot to dot. My kids love those. When somebody's having a rough day with someone, I will grab a kid and have them sit down and work through a dot to dot or a sticker book. Now these Cheerios and the juice were a great deal. Always grab grab those food deals when you see them. Those are my favorite items that I get from the dollar store that you should get from the dollar store. I hope you enjoyed checking out my store. I always love watching other people's stores because it's so surprising how things can differ. I know that our store often gets new things in, which is always really cool. Um, like right now they've got those metal trays I showed you. So cool. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Like it, subscribe, 
hit that notification bell and come back because I would love to share more with you and connect more with you. Um, but until next time, happy homeschooling.